you know we always like to keep it real and stylish around here but in today's video we're taking it up a notch with a amazon fashion haul stay tuned because you're in for a treat Fashionistas, I'm Chi Chi. If you're new, if you're returning, shout yourself out in the comments and let the new kids know how we treat family around here. Now, I really think this is a first for my channel. I've done Amazon's videos before, but they were more lifestyle, but in today's video, okay. I'm gonna be sharing with you some goodies that are perfect as we transition into fall, as well as some like last minute summer stragglers that were too good to leave alone. This Amazon haul is all about embracing those curves and finding game changing pieces. But, 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 but hold on to your seats because there's a twist in this haul that's about to make the haul even more exciting. But before we get into the video, let me go ahead and run you through my outfit of the day because I feel like I pulled together a fit that's perfect for this like transitional weather into fall. Let's start with these earrings that are like famous right now. Yes, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yes and yes, yes. This bustier that I have on right here, it's like chocolate colored knit bustier. This is also Amazon. And then I have it paired with some cargo pants or camo pants rather that I picked up last year from Amazon but it's still available okay so I will definitely link it however this leather razor is old but you're in luck because Amazon has a very similar piece and I do think a leather blazer is gonna be a wardrobe staple it's one of those like on basic basics because you always need blazers but why not add a little bit of texture okay with a leather version and to finish things off I have my usual Amazon stack. This is Maureen Costello. The watch is Armitron from Amazon. The friendship bracelet is also from Amazon. And I always link all of my Amazon finds and favorites in my Amazon storefront. I know I don't talk about it enough, but if you just want my Amazon picks, you can go directly there or you can always stop by my LTK. Grab your popcorn, get comfy, and let's get into it. You see, I've been listening to your requests and scouting on brands that align with our mission of feeling comfortable and comfortable no matter our size. And let me tell you, I hit the jackpot with this one. So today's video is in partnership with NYX, a revolutionary underwear brand that is all about function and innovation. NYX is here to transform the underwear game. And in today's video, we're diving headfirst into their game-changing creations. Now, before we get into that, let me give you a little tea. I've been around the sun 37 times. And this last time that I was on my period, was probably the most I've ever been confident and comfortable. This might be TMI, but your girl does have heavy period. And I know there's people think that they have heavy periods, but your girl is an ultra. The girls who wear ultras know. Sometimes we stack up the ultras, right? And so growing up, I have always been self-conscious when I'm on my period, always been uncomfortable. I remember the first time I ever had a leak, I was in class in high school and like nobody told me. I was walking around and people were like snickering behind my back. Ever since that experience, I've always been ultra conscious anytime I'm on my period. Like I'm always double checking, sitting funny. I don't even sleep well because I was so worried that I was going to like leak through my underwear and my clothing. And y'all, I have done all of the tricks, all of the tips, stacking, double stacking. The girls who know know what I'm talking about. So imagine having lived my life a certain way for the last two decades and now finally having freedom y'all like I was just like willy nillying living my best life without even a care or a worry that I was gonna leak now to be fully transparent I did keep my tampons but I was able to test out all of the leak proof options from their underwear to the item that is totally changing the game the shorty thigh saver This product is here to save us from chafing and discomfort while still having all of the leak proof superpowers. So the shorty thigh saver shorts are light as air, seamless in design, have a built in gusset and protect you from chafing, sweat and prevent you from having sit on anything gross while wearing a dress. I also 
got to test out the high rise briefs. Don't know if my underwear video is out yet, but one of the biggest tips I always give my girlies who have, you know, fupas or apron bellies or just a little bit more thickness around the middle is to get yourself a good high rise brief. What I like about these pieces is that not only are they super stretchy and seamless, by the way, they also give you a slight control. It's not a shaper, but it smooths you out and it's ultra comfortable. It comes in five nude colors and a plethora of fun prints like I just shared and fabrications. Whether you're a boy short girl, a brief girl, a thong girl, they have multiple options in multiple prints and fabrics in the leak proof style. And my favorite thing about it is that it actually tells you on the packaging the kind of absorbency you will get with each product. So the boy shorts are medium, the bikinis are medium, the leak proof lace thong is light. They absorb up to three tablespoons of liquid. They have a quick dry gusset and they're machine washable. So you don't even have to worry about just throwing these in the wash. Now, it would be crazy for me to end this without sharing with you guys one of their best sellers, which is their Revolution Bra, which was actually inspired by one of their customers who wanted a comfortable bra that was supportive. Now this is a wire-free bra, yep, it's wireless, that's buttery soft while having built-in wireless support technology. And the best part for my busty girls goes from an A to H cup. Tell me they didn't think of everything. Y'all check on your YouTube friends cause if it ain't the kids on the bicycle, it's the AC. If it ain't the AC, it's the grass, someone cutting the grass. Like the grass is cut in the morning. So the question is, where do we start? Do we start with the early fall stuff or do we start with the end of summer stuff? Hmm, I think we're gonna start with the early fall stuff and then we'll end with the last minute summer finds. So I picked up four dresses, two dressy and two more comfortable. So let's start with the dressy options. The first dress I think is perfect for around this time of year. I've dubbed it the sunset dress. It's this mesh ombre fit did dress. What I like about a piece like this is that you can really have fun. You can go bold with adding more colorful accessories or you can really just let the dress be the star of the show. You can throw on a statement belt. These earrings would work great. This would be perfect to wear for a date night. You'll definitely be a vision to remember and I have it here in a size 2x. The dress does have some stretch to it as well so if you want something a little bit more fitted that's an option and it's lined. Orange is always a vibe on dark skin but I love the fact that it ombres right into pink and purple. All colors that just look rich, perfect for melanin but also colors that will work really well as we transition into fall. So let me know in the comments below if you would grab this, how you would style this and where you would wear this too. So here's a quick little 360 of the dress. I do have some spanks on. It has this cool detailing in the back like so that little mesh detailing button eye closure definitely one of those dresses that you can pull out over and over again i'm wearing it here in the 2x but i feel like maybe i can size down let me know if you would size down on this and how you would style her i have her on with this orange bag that i have worn to death okay i have gotten my full cost per wear on this piece but i'm thinking maybe not the orange maybe pick like a purple or go with neutrals. Let me know how you would style it. Continuing on with dresses, I also picked up this other fitted dress with the fun cutouts. I instantly fill out with that little cutout around the belly. It's a great way to show a little bit of skin without being out there like that. It also has this tie detail around the neck, which I have to be honest, I'm not 100% fan of. Now, if you're someone who wants to do more color, but you know, you're just kind of like testing the waters, this is a much more subtle shade of burnt orange, which I also think is actually 
very similar to the color of the blush I have on right now. That terracotta color also looks gorgeous if you have like melanated skin, okay? Love this, it's midi length just like the other dress. Perfect for date night or girls night out or just, you know, when you wanna tap into that feminine energy. And I have the shorty thigh saver on in both dresses. So you have like an idea of what it fits like under dresses is basically undetectable. And it's not only does it keep you protected from chafing and discomfort, it also gives you some slight smoothing if you're just not about that wearing a full on shaper life. Now this isn't lined, but it is made out of a quality knit that is, has a little bit of stretch to it as well. So you're getting some of that sculpting and shaping from the dress. So I don't wanna keep both. So I would love for you guys to chime in the comments below and let me know which dress I should keep. The sunset dress or the terracotta dress? Continuing on the more casual side, these last two pieces is what I would call a late summer find. First one is going to be these button down shirt dresses. I have it in both pink and green, and I'm pretty sure that I had it on in a recent video, and one of you asked me about it. It's from Amazon. Y'all, my favorite thing about this dress is that it's super lightweight. When I say lightweight, light, weight y'all like so 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 lightweight and easy cotton fabric that also has a belt to cinch in the weight and a pocket in some places august is like one of the hottest months and this dress is something you need in your wardrobe and one thing i love about amazon is that they they know about color okay they like to give the girls a ton of options so i picked it up in pink and this teal green color let me know in the comments below if you were team pink or team teal And now the next end of summer find I found was this puff sleeve sweetheart neckline A-line dress. For reference, I am 5'7", and I think I'm actually going to hem this to make it a little bit shorter, but look at this, y'all. I always get comments and questions from the girls who want tips and tricks on how to style their bodies, especially the girlies with thick tummies. This is a dress that you need to have in your wardrobe if you have a thick tummy. Actually, both dresses, the shirt dress and this dress, okay? Because as you can see, it comes in at your smallest point which is your waist and it flares out and the best part is that the back is smocked so if you are in the process of unbigging your back or not you will have ample room for this to stretch to fit it is also made out of a lightweight linen and I don't know I don't remember the last time I saw a purple linen in my size don't don't know don't remember last time so when I saw that it came in this gorgeous color I had to have now I haven't watched it yet so verdicts out which is why I also picked it up in this gorgeous mustard Y'all know that I went through a mustard phase because the color just really brightens up my complexion. And if you have a similar complexion to mine, you need more of this color in your wardrobe. So I want to know again, would you be team purple or team mustard? Let me know in the comments. Both dresses are super easy to dress up or down. You can throw them both on with some sneakers. You can throw them on with like some chunky platform sandals. If you want to dress it up or want to keep things a little bit casual, a cute little like crossbody or top handle bag, glasses, and you got an easy breezy look to go to a casual brunch or even like to run errands on the weekend. Remember, my goal for this channel is that every time that you step out the house, you feel confident and comfortable in what you're rocking. And these two dresses definitely symbolize that. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Oh, I have another dress that I can't wait to share with you guys, but it's a wild card, so stay tuned. Now let's get into tops that I picked up. I have some fun dressy like going out tops. I also have some basics that I think are must have. is going to be this viral pink top that I saw all the girlies. It's like a mesh. It has this little like bandeau situation built into the top. It's very stretchy. I got it in the largest size, extra large. I'm not an extra large. So I was like, I have to share this with the girls because if you wondered if this was going to fit you and you've had it in your cart, like I literally had this in my cart for months. I'm like, oh my God, it's extra large. I'm not an extra large. I finally put them on. Hey y'all, it fit. Okay. I was wearing this in like my apron belly video. It's made of this like 
stretchy, almost gauzy knit. So if you're wondering how it fits. Now I will tell you straight up front, this is the kind of thing that will snag. So you kind of have to be gentle with it. And I feel like you have to have it on with a strapless bra, which is what I had on when I tried this on. This is one of those pieces that you can wear with cargo pants, you can wear with jeans, shorts, etc., etc. It is the perfect statement top, going out top piece that you throw on when you just want to, you know, add a little pizzazz, a little spice to your outfit. It comes in a plethora of colors. I got it in this magenta or like hot pink because the color just looks good. But let me know your thoughts on this top. Keep return. It is a little bit snug on my arms and you guys know I'm like a true 18 up top probably even closer to a 20 foot with the arms and this fit if you're bigger than an 18 I would not venture with this piece but if you are under an 18 and you're like smaller in proportion especially if you don't have a belly then this is worth trying because the top does stretch a lot the next item I picked up was this orange pink bustiers. Bustiers have been having a moment lately. As you can see, I have one on. So I wanted to try my luck with this one because I thought the colors are so fun and would pair with jeans. As you can see from the try haul, I really wanted this to work, but the cutout was just way too big. I have way too much boob. It did not cover. Now, if you have a smaller chest, like I would say if you were like a, a B cup, maybe a C, you could definitely try this because the top is very stretchy. But if you are like a D cup and above, girl, it's not going to work. Like I really try to finesse it, pull it. Every time I pull it up top, the down will be open. Every time I pull it down, the up would open. So I was just like, okay, yeah, let me just, let me take this L and put it down. And then I picked up two more items that I definitely call a staple for a capsule. The first one being this striped crop t-shirt. I'm short-waisted, so finding like that perfect crop t-shirt is always an issue. Also, I'm a busty girl, so it's either it's too cropped because of my boobs or it's too long because I have a short waist. And I feel like I found a happy medium with these. I also found another white t-shirt, which I will link on my Amazon storefront. That's also a really good crop if you struggled with that like I have. This is gonna go right into fall with all of the basics, jeans, leather pants, Pants, trousers, etc., etc. I would add this to car ASAP. It also comes in a ton of other colors as well, but I felt like this black and white was a good neutral base that I could wear a plethora of ways. I'm wearing this in a 2X. All of the pieces I buy from Amazon, I usually am getting a 2X because I feel like that's the sweet spot. Sometimes the, they run a little big, but I can always take it in. I find that the extra, extra large is a little, it's almost like a 14, 12, and then the 2X is almost like a big 16, 18. 20 but that's like how I feel like the sizes run so I always just opt for the size up and then I can always tailor it to fit Now I picked up this button down shirt, which I wouldn't personally call it like a statement top, but I also wouldn't call it like something casual because if you open a couple of buttons, you can wear this to happy hour, okay? Uh -huh, mm -hmm. You could also pair this to, with jeans for like Thanksgiving. It's definitely a top that's giving and it comes in a few colors as well. I decided to go with this navy because I realized I really don't have a, a lot of navy in my wardrobe and that color works as a great neutral for the fall and winter with all of the prevalences with all the jewel tones that we tend to see in the fall and winter. Now, I feel like we're gonna have to do a part two. If you guys would like a part two, let me know. I have a couple of sets that I would love to share with you guys and possibly some dresses and accessories. Oh my gosh, I forgot about accessories. Oh Lord, <laughs> I will share two sets with you guys in this video and then you guys can look forward to the part two. Or you can always check out my Amazon storefront. That will have all of my current Amazon finds linked. All right, so the first test set, y'all, when I showed this set on Instagram, it broke the internet. And I know why, because last year I saw a similar set at H&M and it sold out like that. So when I saw that Amazon had something similar this year, the way I scooped this up, it is this crochet knit short set. This is perfect to take with you on vacation, early in the morning when you wanna go get breakfast. It's also cute because it serves as a cover up. I'm wearing a 2X in the top and a 3X in the shorts. Honestly, I could have gotten a 2X because the fabric does stretch out a little bit 
it with some wear. It has a drawstring on the waist. It's super comfortable, super stretchy. And I love the fact that it has like this checkerboard orange pattern going on with it. It also comes in like a simple like cream neutral. I thought this was cute because it had brown, it had pink, it had orange, and it added a little something to it. Note that the top only has one button. So it's almost like a shrug or like a, or like a, like a twin set cover, right? It has one button closure and you can tell that it was made to be worn casually on vacation. So this next piece would have been a great alternative to this current outfit that I have on. So I would easily just swap out the camo pants for this skirt. This skirt actually does have a matching top, but I wanted to pair it with this boussier here that I picked up because I felt like it would be a lot more versatile. Let me know your thoughts about this little set. This is also a piece that I love because I feel like it transitions right into fall really easily. You could throw it on with an oversized blazer like I have on, which is a huge trend for fall. I mean, I feel like it's been trending for the last couple of years, but it's still trending. Big shoulders, big blazers, and then something a little bit more fitted on the insides, you know, give you a little silhouette. You can style it now comfortably with like some sneakers. And then in the fall and winter, you can throw on some tight and some boots and you got a cute outfit for like visiting the parents during Thanksgiving. Why am I thinking about Thanksgiving so much? Fall date nights, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel like it's an easy enough piece. It's a knit, but it's not super heavy. So you can definitely wear it pre-fall, early fall, and then you can wear it through winter by layering with it. But let me know your thoughts on this as well. I'm wearing the skirt here in a size 2X. Now, I promised y'all that I was gonna share this wild card of a dress because y'all, I don't know about y'all, but I'd be apprehensive from shopping certain Amazon sellers because I just be wondering if the pieces are gonna fit me. It's just like that pink off shoulder top. Like I'm like, this doesn't look like it's gonna be my size. I've had bad experiences, so I got you. That's what I love about this hauls, okay? Cause I get to put you on just in case you have been wondering. I've been seeing this dress on the girls all over and and you know, I don't have an hourglass figure. I have like more of a spoon shape. I carry a lot of weight around my lower midsection. I don't look like this model, right? So I was like, mm, is this, should I even bother venturing here? But I did because I love the color of this and I feel like this is such a gorgeous dress. If you have like a wedding coming up in the next like month or two. Also, if you like wanna just spice things up for date night, like even these earrings would work so great with this look and a cute little clutch. Again, tapping into that curvaceous feminine energy. FYI, the fabric on this is that like super stretchy, kind of like spandexy fabric. Quality wise, I'd give it like a six and a half, seven out of 10. It's perfect for what it is. Something easy to throw on for date night. It's also great for this time of year because it's not super thick. So you'll be comfortable in this. Throw this on with some pumps or some sandals, depending on what your style is, a little clutch, and voila, you've got a look. Yeah, Um, if you were like a 14, 16, this dress is definitely worth trying out. But if you're like 18, 20, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this is the highest or largest size I'm wearing, but I'll double check my order. The fit is weird. The plunge is deep, which I can work with, but the fact that the plunge does not match the split, like the split's going one way, the plunge is going another way. Like I tried to like finesse it, move it around, still ain't it still ain't splitting in the right right direction um i think like what happens is if it was like a lot bigger on me it would gather and the fact that the split was wonky wouldn't matter but if it like to the, to the body and so yeah i really had high hopes for this one mm -hmm. yeah now what i want to know is would you wear this to a wedding comment down below <laughs> Make sure to check out the description box down below for all of my picks at NYX. I don't know about you guys, but I love a brand that focuses on the intersection between fashion and function in the best possible way. I love that they've created products that allows us to feel confident because we're leak free and comfortable, especially during that time of the month. If you've tried NYX, let us know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on the brands? How has your experience been? Yeah, put the girls on tea. <laughs> I will definitely have have a link to the shorty thigh saver because I think it's the best of both worlds 
and a link to all my other NYX faves down below. Remember to stay fabulous, keep slaying, and until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Chocolate colored, um, covered, chocolate covered, chocolate, it's a chocolate colored that allows, that, that is the, that, that is the, wow. Mm -hmm.